Okay. Hi, I'm back. Okay, so I know it's been a long time, but sometimes Adobe subscriptions cannot be paid for. Sometimes people go through hard times, but okay, I've returned, all right? Today, I wanted to make a video about this digital poster that I made. It's a 3D moving poster. I did it in Blender and After Effects. I had to do this for a submission for an internship and they just asked you to make a poster with like any topic that you wanted to do a poster on um like raise awareness of so i was like i'm gonna do something i just had the idea for like the banana like not super original okay but i was like i'm just gonna do a poster about like grocery store waste in the uk and do this fun like shrink wrap thing so i want to do a shrink wrap shrink wrap poster packaging thing which you'll see um that was received with crickets um but you know what, the universe had bigger and better things, so we are just gonna get into that now, okay? Okay, first things first, I just made a plane and then I modeled this little styrofoam tray with a reference picture that I found. So I just beveled it, inset it, beveled it some more so it had some of that roundness to it. And then I ended up solidifying the shape so it was a little bit thicker and it felt a little bit more real. But yeah, I literally just followed the reference for this. And I also, for the banana, I just downloaded one online. I just Googled like free blender banana models and there was tons out there. So sometimes, guys, sometimes you don't, you're doing too much, okay? Just download the model. Um, but yeah, I found a really great banana, better than anything that I could have made. And I just placed that in there and just kind of messed around with like th figuring out how it would realistically kind of sit. If you were really serious, you could do a, a physics simulation, but that's a lot. Okay, that's a lot. So yeah, just uh, put the banana in there, shade smoothed everything, and that was the banana and the tray. For the textures, I just put a BDSF shader in there and dropped down the roughness to it, shaded it smooth so it had a nice shine. I was originally gonna do a styrofoam, but then I was like, I'll just do plastic, it'll be easier. And then for the shrink wrap plastic on top of it, what you do is you just take a shape. I did a square and then I think later I did a sphere. Um, and then make sure it's really subdivided and you use the shrink wrap modifier. So you just select the object that you want the plastic to shrink wrap, shrink wrap onto. I think I may have joined the banana in the tray at this point. And then it'll just stick to it and you can adjust the, the amount of offset that you want and how much you want it to be stuck onto the object. But it's honestly really, really simple. So I played around with that with a couple of shapes to see like which made the shrink wrap that I liked more and divided it a little bit as you can see. Um, after I just applied the modifier so that it became its own mesh object. And then for the plastic itself, I think I just put a glass BDSF shader and uh, made it uh, shiny. Like, it's really simple. Now, I was trying to world build, okay guys? I'm trying to world build with this fucking poster. So I was just, I decided to make a banana sticker that was branded for JosieHarrison.com. Um, I just got my little reference pictures up there of ones that I liked. And I used this computer dingbat and just added my name. And yeah, that was my, my banana sticker that I had created. And you can't see it here, but I think I took this into Photoshop and I added a color halftone. So it had that proper like vintage printed effect to it. You can't really see that on the final model, but the details are there, okay guys? I'm, I'm always, that's the details. I'm always thinking of them. To make the sticker stick to the objects, I have a Blender plugin that is a decal plugin. I'll link it down below. It's really easy to use. And I use it for everything all the time. I love putting stickers on stuff. And sometimes I'll just like cheat and instead of doing a UV map, I'll just fucking stick a sticker onto something uh, as the texture. So that's my life hack. Um, yeah, I'm not an expert, okay guys? <laughs> <laughs> I am an amateur, but yeah, I just put the sticker on the banana and look at that. See how it really ties everything together? Really ties everything together. There's a lot of moving parts here to this, this poster, okay? Okay. 
And then I wanted to add a sticker on top of the plastic itself. That's that kind of grocery store label sticker. I looked at those a little bit. Like I had like a, a pack of bread from the bakery and they always have those like really minimal like label printed print like stickers on them. Um, so that's what I did for this. And I just added a fact about food packaging and plastic packaging because that was kind of a theme obviously. And this typeface guys, I cannot stop thinking about this typeface. I'm obsessed with the typeface. It's so wrong yet, it's so right. The bold is crazy. I use the bold for um, the upper corner of the poster, but I'm obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with this typeface. So to design stickers like this, I always get barcodes. I love dropping in a barcode PNG, barcode JPEG. Like if there's one thing I'm doing, it's adding a barcode to something. And then also I use these recycling labels just to tie in with the theme. And this is a really great way to make things feel very real and to make things feel very tangible is all these tiny little labels and stickers and stuff that like it's so boring, we basically tune them out, but it just makes it feel so much more real. I just stuck this sticker onto the actual shrink wrap packaging and just always make sure to subdivide a bit so that the shape can actually go over the other shape and stick to it. And then I began the animation process. So it's just a really simple animation. I just wanted the object to go like a bit back and forth to show some of the shine and a bit of the depth. And yeah, the keyframes are quite simple rotations, um, just going back and forth. And I made sure that it would be able to loop so that the poster itself was a proper looping moving poster. Cause I feel like moving posters always have to loop or else they're not really a moving poster. Is that, I don't know if that's a rule, but that's just like an observation of mine. And I love it. Uh, it's 2025 guys, things need to move. If it's not moving, it's dead. So after I rendered out the animation, I took this into After Effects and that's where I added the actual copy that was going to go on top of it. And I just spent a lot of time messing about with the text layouts for this. I'm not going to show that all here because it's pretty boring, like it's just me moving type around. But I was spending a lot of time trying to decide the size, the positioning, and just basically what I would put on that. So this is the final poster design. I hope you guys like it. Uh, let me know if you want like any more super in-depth tutorials. Yeah, let me know if there's anything else you wanna see and subscribe.